Hello, and welcome to Gear for Music. I'm Chris Brolette, and I'm going to show you the Touch Mix Compact Mixer Series from QSC, including the 8, 16, and 30 Pro. Three fantastic mixers, each with their own unique features. First, we'll quickly go over some of the details of each one, then we'll take a look at them in more depth and finish off with listening to some of the sounds they can produce. People often wonder why QSC has become a digital mixer company, and it's actually a pretty simple history lesson. Starting about 50 years ago in a small garage in Southern California, QSC began making amplifiers and became known for uh, roadworthy, long-lasting amplifiers that uh, people use still to this day. Along the way, we actually developed loudspeakers to go with the amplifiers so people would have the front end and the back end solution. And so the natural progression was to create digital mixers that we could have uh, a, a, a system solution from beginning to end, from your input to the output. The TouchMix 8 and 16 are compact mixers based on simplifying complex functions and giving great sound for every level of user. The TouchMix 8 and 16 are functionally the same, you just have a smaller I.O. count on the 8, so I'll be demonstrating everything on the 16 from here on out. What we've done is we've added a few features in addition to the standard things that you would expect from a digital mixer. Both units have EQs, compressors, gates, all the things that you would expect to have in a digital mixer these days. But what we've done is we've added things like simple modes, presets, and wizards that give a much faster and easier experience for the end user, no matter what their, their uh, level of experience is. So if you look, we have a parametric EQ on the screen, but with the push of a button, we now have a simple mode EQ, which takes it down similar to what you would have on your home stereo. Same with your compressor. The compressor can be fully featured and used just the way you would with uh, ratio, attack, release, all that kind of stuff. But if you don't know how any of that works, you put it in simple mode and now you have a one knob compressor. So these features make it easier for any level of user uh, to get great results quickly. We've also taken it one step further and employed presets into our mixer. And the presets are a wonderful thing that we've spent a lot of time developing because we actually built these in a live room with live musicians, uh, with live microphones and live speakers, so that when you load up a preset for a kick drum or a piano or a vocal microphone, you know that it's actually going to work, it's gonna help remove feedback and give you a great experience without needing to know how to set the EQ and compressor and gates uh, right, out of the, uh, right out of the gate. The next thing we've employed is our wizard series. Our gain wizard helps the less experienced user set their input and output levels without needing to understand really how gain staging works. And our effects wizard gives them the ability to assign effects quickly and easily without having to go through them channel by channel and assigning uh, delays, reverbs, pitch shifters, and chorus uh, without really knowing where to start with that. The TouchMix 30 Pro is an evolution of the TouchMix series with even more Pro features built on the same platform of simplicity as the 8 and the 16. If you have any experience with the TouchMix 8 and 16, you'll know exactly how to use the TouchMix 30 Pro. We've expanded it with a larger I.O. count, a total of 32 channels. We have a larger multi-touch 10-inch LCD screen on the 30, and we have more physical controls with expanded user buttons, so you have more ability to make the mixer and control it just the way that you want to. Let's take a look at what we've expanded on the TouchMix 30 Pro. What we've done is we've increased the I.O. count, so now you have 24 mic line inputs, uh, all controlled by a Class A custom-made preamp. We have three stereo quarter-inch inputs on the rear for a total of 30 analog ins, plus two for the USB left and right via MP3 playback. There's also 14 auxiliary outs on this mixer, so you can have up to seven stereo pairs or 14 individual monitor outputs from this board. Our larger 10-inch full-color LCD screen is also multi-touch now, so you have the ability to grab two faders and move them at the same time, or three or four. Uh, we have updated graphics and a new direct aux mix selection from the main page, so that no matter what page you're on, you can instantly go to an aux mix with just a press of a button on the left side of the screen. I found my way to the ends of the earth the TouchMix 8 and 16 both have four custom assignable user buttons on the front panel. With the TouchMix 30 Pro, we've now expanded that to have eight assignable user buttons that you can customize any way you want to by going in through the menu. So to do that, we press the menu button and select user buttons. From here, there are dozens of different functions that are actually controllable with the mixer, things like tap tempo, mute group assignments, preset recall, scene recall, lots of different functions that can be accessed with just the press of a button. Uh, from there, we've also assigned a copy and paste dedicated to user buttons seven and eight on the TouchMix 30 Pro. 
any function that is in the mixer, for instance, assigning quickly a aux mix, you can, with your aux selected, press copy, user button seven, move to your next aux and press paste, and it moves the function over that quickly. Any function, an EQ, a mix, a preset, uh, a compressor, anything on the mixer can be assigned in multiple levels and copied from one piece to another. It's really easy. The larger screen on the TouchMix 30 Pro gives us access to features that actually weren't previously available on the TouchMix 8 and 16. For instance, with the press of a button, I can get in to see my channel overview screen. This new uh, screen gives me the ability to see my EQ, compressor, gate, effect sends, and aux sends all from one screen without having to jump around from tab to tab. So that navigation is a lot easier now. It also has an expanded digital gain and it's plus or minus 15 dB digital gain added to our analog gain. This actually has the ability now to save your, your gain settings in a preset or in a scene so that when you recall your scene the next time you use your mixer, you won't have to reset your analog trims. You can leave your analog trims at the same level and adjustment with the digital gain is recallable now every time. One more important feature to note is that we've upgraded the TM30 Pro to six stereo effects engines where the TM8 and 16 previously had four. So now you even have more flexibility for assigning effects to different channels than you did before. One feature upgrade to note on the TouchMix 30 Pro is that we've added two stereo effects engines for a total of six effects processors in this board. The TouchMix 8 and 16 both have four, and now with six you have even more flexibility. Most digital mixers give you only two, and if you get four, you have to lose outputs in order to have the processing to run more than those two effects. So with the TouchMix 30 Pro, you now have the flexibility to run even more effects and have those assignments without taking that processing away from any of your aux outputs. So you can run all your monitors and your effects independently all at the same time. Now we're gonna talk about what we consider to be our big mixer features that are not typically found in a compact digital mixer. Uh, these features are things that are regarded by production professionals that we've actually simplified for any level of user to be able to use. A feature that is unique to the TouchMix 30 Pro is subgroups. Subgroups now give you the ability to route multiple channels to a single fader bank where you can use EQ, compression, or level control over multiple channels together. For example, you can route all of your drums or all of your vocals to a subgroup and EQ or compress them all together as a single channel. This feature is similar to using a bus on a DAW and gives the user more control over their sound. Real-time analyzers, or RTAs, are an important feature for production professionals to have in a digital mixer. The TouchMix 30 Pro has two RTAs, one that can be found on the input screen by selecting your channel strip, and a second that can be found by pressing the RTA button on the face of the mixer. This shows you a screen that can actually follow any of the channels or see any of your output RTAs from one single source. The RTA can also be used in conjunction with a tablet so that you can keep the RTA on your tablet and make necessary adjustments on the mixer screen. In addition to the effects in Gain Wizard that you get with the TouchMix 8 and 16, we've introduced two new wizards for the TouchMix 30 Pro. The first being the Room Tuning Wizard, which takes a task that is difficult for most average users and tunes the room with a few simple button pushes. This eliminates the need for any additional outboard gear that you would have previously needed to bring for your mixer. When used in conjunction with a reference microphone plugged into the talkback input, the tuning wizard will measure the frequency response of your room or venue and apply an EQ curve to give you a more desirable experience for your mix. We recommend that you do this before your audience arrives to your gig. The manual kill function is available if after you've run the wizard, you still run into a problematic frequency. The second new wizard in the TouchMix 30 Pro is the anti-feedback wizard. We felt this feature was so important and useful that it can be accessed from a dedicated button on the face of the mixer. When you engage the feedback wizard, the mixer automatically increases the gain of the system until feedback is created, at which point the feedback wizard will automatically notch out up to 12 offending frequencies, giving you much more system stability and gain before feedback. The feedback wizard is available on all outputs, so you can eliminate feedback automatically for monitors as well. The manual kill function is available if after you've run the wizard, you still run into a problematic frequency. With the press of a button, the offending frequency will be automatically notched out without trying to guess where it is. Again, this removes the need for any additional outboard equipment to achieve this result and is simple enough for any level of user to use. Located in the menu of the TouchMix 30 Pro is the new patch matrix. The patch matrix is for routing channels if the connections don't match your mixer plot. 
For example, if somebody's plugged the vocal into channel 9, but you actually want to mix it on channel 13, simply access your patch matrix, select input 9, and send it to channel 13, and just that quickly the mixer will do all that routing for you. You don't need to plug and unplug cables, and it's very simple and easy to use. Just like the TouchMix 8 and 16, the TouchMix 30 Pro is also a multi-track recorder. But we've added two new features to that recording section to give you even more flexibility with your tracks. The first of which is our new MP3 playback mode. By plugging in a USB thumb drive that has your MP3 tracks preloaded, now you have the ability to play your break music or backing tracks without the need for any external gear, cables, or playback devices. This gives you now the flexibility to run your entire show from one device and not have any outboard gear that you don't need anymore. The second new feature added to the recording section of the TouchMix 30 Pro is the multi-track DAW interface. This is now a 32 by 32 channel USB audio interface where you can record directly into the DAW of your choice, be it Pro Tools or Cubase, or take tracks that you have recorded in your DAW and play them back through the mixer. Most stereo USB interfaces are about 100 pounds, so what you're getting with the TouchMix 30 Pro is around 1,600 pounds worth of audio interface for free in addition to it already being a mixer. So the TouchMix 30 Pro now gives you the flexibility to use your mixer with an external hard drive as a standalone recording console, or you can interface it with your computer for a full production system. Just as with the TouchMix 8 and 16, QSC has released an updated remote control app. Now with this, you can still connect up to 12 devices at a time with a signable permissive control or have 100% full control of the mixer remotely. The app is both Android and Apple compatible and available now for free. One final note is that we have just released our new 1.1 firmware update for the TouchMix 30 Pro. This includes automatic future firmware updates if you connect your TouchMix 30 Pro to a router with internet access. Also, a new channel safe mode that prevents individual channels from being changed by a scene recall, and improvements to the channel EQ page, including pinch and drag gesture controls on the screen, as well as lots of other great improvements that can be found at qsc.com. Well So thanks for watching this overview of the TouchMix 8, 16, and 30 Pro mixers. There really is a huge amount of potential with these products, and you'll no doubt have fun using these features to easily achieve a great mix. So for more information on the TouchMix series or any of our other QSC products, please visit the Gear for Music website. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon.